Well, I don't know how long it was disconnected. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, but whatever I was talking about was recorded until it stopped, so that will be posted. Um, somebody, what was I doing when you noticed that uh, I wasn't talking anymore to you, that it disconnected? So I was working in uh, Lightroom, of course, and working on this image. Anybody? So had I applied this second? Sorry, go ahead. Uh, you were about to start erasing the um the effect from to get it rid rid of it from the other Great. overlay. Okay, thank you. Thanks. So I'll just try and get back to that. Uh, so here I am in um, let me get rid of that in Lightroom and. I was erasing here, so I just I'm erasing uh, the second overlay that I did where I went over onto the grass. Um, so I can show you what it looked like before. There, it's way too bright. Um, and then after I erase that, it's actually a little dark, but that's okay. It's, uh, it looks that way also in comparison. I can also add areas to this if I want to lighten up in here, uh, the, the part of the house that's in shade. And the settings that I have been using work for this. That's great. I can come in and lighten this up. And open up the house a bit more, the, the plants in the foreground. If these settings don't work, then I have to do something else. But actually, they work pretty well for, um, for working on, on the foreground as a whole. It's maybe a little bright. Um, and I can bring that down. Okay, so and again, I can compare this with what I did earlier, the letter Y, or, or sorry, from the beginning. Um, so the before on the left and after on the right. Uh, and am I happy with that? That's fine for now. So I, I will leave that and get out of this tool again by clicking either on the done word at the bottom right or clicking on the actual tool to get out of it. And now when I work on the image, it will be on the entire frame uh, unless I choose to do more. So that is the graduated filter. Um, and you can again come in at any angle. Uh, you can lighten and darken certain swaths of information. Uh, and you can then go back in and manipulate, you know, undo certain areas. You can always undo anything uh, and everything. Um, but you can paint back in, paint in other areas, subtract other areas by changing to the brush. Okay, any questions on the graduated filter? The next tool is called the radial filter. Let me find an image that perhaps would be better suited to that one. Oh, how about this one? So here we have a a flower, an iris, and first of all, overall, I think the image is a little dark. 
but uh, again, when I when I start working in it on an image, there are certain things I do uh, in a certain order, and we all do things. You know, we have our own workflows. But the first thing I do is go down to where it says Lens Corrections. This is again in the Develop module, and I click on Remove Chromatic Aberration, just in case there's any color, you know, weird color things going on. Um, this should correct for them. Not overall huge things, but, you know, somewhat more subtle. I can also click on Enable Profile Corrections. And when I do that, two things I'll have. First, notice the image. It changes subtly. In this case, it kind of bulges out a little. So Lightroom has um, profiles of, of hundreds and hundreds of lenses and it applies what it knows about specific a specific lens to the image so uh, the lens that i used here shows it here make nikon model nikon af sdx nikkor 18 to 140 so this is the lens i use an 18 to 140 millimeter zoom lens and then it has a profile about that lens. So any known uh, characteristics or defects, essentially, um, that it knows about this lens, though that information or the corrections for those, those things are applied to the image when you click on Enable Profile Corrections. So you don't have to do that if you like the image better without the corrections, that's great. Just don't do them. The only thing I'll say is do them at the beginning if you're going to do them. If you're going to click on Enable Profile Corrections, do it at the beginning. Uh, because if you do a whole lot of work on your image and then you click on the corrections, uh, at least some of what you've done may, be, may have been for nothing. So it's up to you. but. I would certainly click on Remove Chromatic Aberration. So after I've done that, I look at the image as a whole, and I think, well, it is a little bit dark. And so I may go to Exposure and just lighten it up a bit. And sometimes that'll take care of it. That's great. But this image could use a bit more work. So when I open it up, enough that the uh, the flower looks about right, then the background is too bright. Uh, so I will probably work on these things separately. But I'll open it, I'll, I'll get the exposure to where I think it, it is best at an average, or as an average. Um, I then will probably look at the white balance. So just above where it says tone and auto, it says WB for white balance. We just talked about white balance. So notice that there are two sliders. One that says temp for temperature, and the second for tint. And the temperature, as you can see, the slider affects the overall uh, cast of the image. So as I go to the more to the blues, you can see that the color temperature changes. And the numbers are going down and down and down as the image gets more and more blue. And they as the numbers go up, the image gets more and more orangey. And when I double click on the slider, it doesn't go to zero. It goes to where it was set before. So if you look at the WB here, opposite it, it right now it says custom, and that's a pull down menu. Um, if you shoot in raw, you will have all these choices as shot, auto, daylight, cloudy, shade, tungsten, fluorescent, flash. And if you shoot in JPEG, you will not have these choices. And that's why I said um, last time that if you shoot in JPEG, it is important that you 
shoot with the white balance set to whatever lighting situation you are photographing in. Um, so let me just find a JPEG image. <clears throat> Let's see here. Well, this one is JPEG, definitely. So um, if you look at white balance here, it says as shot, but now when I do the